in this week's episode of Working with Todoist, it's all about karma. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to explain how to get the best out of Todoist Karma Points function. Now on the surface most people tend to think that the Karma system or feature in Todoist is a little bit of a gimmick but actually it has a very very powerful use and that is if you're color coding your projects then you are going to be able to use the karma points to be able to identify where you are spending most of your time and for me personally when I do my weekly review that is one area where I go into to double check to make sure that I'm focused on the important things and not spending too much time in my routines which are just things that just have to be done on a specific day at a specific time that are not going to take my life any further forward. So let's get into Todoist but before I do that I would just like to say if you like this video please click on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe. Okay let's go into Todoist and I'll show you how to get the most out of your karma. Okay so what I'm going to do now is just show you where to get access to your karma points and it's if you go up to this section up here on the top right hand side of your menu bar and click on the number and you'll get your karma points and essentially this is going to tell you a lot of information it tells you how many tasks you have completed ever since you started with Todoist so this is my main account because I can show you the color coding in a moment and I've now completed almost 29,000 tasks in Todoist it also shows you uh, it also gives you a way by the way to get to your completed tasks so you can actually click on that and it will show you all your completed tasks it shows you a weekly uh, setup so I have I haven't actually updated this recently I really need to increase this to 150 because it's Friday when I'm recording this and I've already hit that target by over 57 ta tasks so I can edit this goal by clicking in here and it will give me the options here to actually edit so I've got 15 as my daily target and now the thing is I'm completing tasks from my inbox which I'll show you in a moment so I'm not going to change that but my weekly goal of 100 is too low so I'm going to drop that down to a hundred uh, drop increase that to 150 so that's now set now you can actually go in here and take your days off now you can turn by the way you can turn karma on and off by clicking this button here in your settings um, I'm going to have it on because I'm going to show you why karma is such an important part of your productivity toolbox now you can actually take a break to take days off I have mine as Saturday it could also be Sunday whatever you can actually add it in Sunday if you want as well but I actually do quite a lot of my work on Sunday so I do have this set up only as a Saturday as a day off and you can turn on vacation mode which basically means that uh, you're not going to lose your streaks which I will explain in a moment so that one I will use in a couple of weeks time when I go to Hong Kong for my above and beyond ABGT 300 concert but for now obviously I'm not on vacation I'm working so it is on so I can close that and go back into my karma so oops we've gone I'm going to go back to the tickler and we're going to click on here <clears throat> so that's essentially what's happening now so now I have um, I'm getting messages coming in I didn't turn on my do not disturb <laughs> and I should so anyway moving on because I like you to see all the errors as they come into my videos okay so moving on what we've got here then is I've completed five five days in a row I've completed my tasks and uh, my weekly tasks 
uh, the longest streak was from 17th of February to August 2018. That's essentially because, like you see here, Friday, that's today, uh, I haven't really achieved, uh, done very much, and Saturday is my vacation day. So looking at this now, you can move on to your weekly streak, and I've now changed that to 150. It was set at uh, 100. But what we'll do is just go into the karma, and this will give you your actual your position on the karma board, which is enlightened, enlightened for me, which is apparently the highest one. But I want to go back to the weekly one here. Um, actually, we'll go to the daily one because it doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe the weekly one shows it better. So essentially what you've got down here is completed in the last four weeks. Let's do this because I'm going to show you this how this would be done on a, as a week part of your weekly review. And what you'll see is I've got orange, green and blue. So and I've also got a bit of red in here and I've also got a lot of grey. Now grey is the inbox. All the tasks that I've completed directly from my inbox are in grey and I do tend to uh, complete a lot of my tasks from my inbox so that's why I have a majority of them is grey. I get an idea or a student will say can you please send me a file and I'll do that straight away. It's going to take me less than two minutes so I'm completing a lot of tasks from my inbox and just to give you an indication as you can see it's around about mid-afternoon here now and I've already collected 11 things in my inbox now by the end of the day that's probably going to be 15 maybe sometimes 20 so you can imagine that as I'm going to complete probably 75% of those as I do my admin at the end of the day, that's why I get a lot of grey areas. But the key here is these sections here. So orange, as you can see, is areas of focus. Green is my routines and blue is my home folder. So I've completed a couple of things from my home here. Uh, red is actually work and as you can see red doesn't actually come up much except on a Sunday although to be honest I am completing a lot of red now green a lot of my work tasks are in there and they're just daily routines now for those of you who have followed me for a while routines are things that just have to be done on a specific day or every day that isn't going to move my life forward and this is where the karma points comes in really useful when I do my week review, I always check to see how I am doing. What I want to see is a lot more orange because orange is my areas of focus. That's the things that are truly important to me, but are not necessarily projects. Like these, this YouTube channel, for example, is very important to me and it's part of my areas of focus. So I want to be seeing a lot of orange in my daily completed list. Now you'll notice that Sunday I have a lot of routines because Sunday really is a routinal day. I'm doing a lot of catching up, I'm doing a lot of admin work and a lot of that is routine. So I'm not too worried that we've got a lot uh, more, a lot more green than we do with work and areas of focus. My orange here is about roughly 50-50, which is not bad for a Monday. And as you can see on a Tuesday, I do a lot more work. I must have had a quiet day in terms of teaching and I got a lot of areas of focus work done this week. Wednesday was a lot of actually some of my project work related to work, but a lot again focused on my uh, areas of focus. So this is what you're looking at. So if you end up with a, your routines are taking up like 80, more than 75% of your day, then you probably need to readjust what you're doing and see if you can actually streamline your routine. Sometimes you can't avoid that, I know, but that's something to look at if you can bring in a lot more of your areas of focus or your work. But it does depend how you've got your project list set up. And that's essentially why I find the Karma Point system them, a really good idea. Not so much because it's I'm competing, it's like gamifying your to-do list. It's, that's not something I'm personally interested in. What I'm more interested in is this section here, which is telling me on a week-to-week -week basis or a day-to-day -day basis how I'm where I'm spending most of my working time. And the thing for me is that I like to see plenty of orange because orange tells me that I'm working on the areas of focus, which is the things that are important to me. Okay, hopefully you found this interesting. Hopefully it's giving you some ideas about what you can and cannot do with karma and why karma points 
actually can be very useful if you build it into your weekly routines. Thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd just like to tell you about my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. Now, if you are new to productivity or even if you're an old hand to productivity systems, this beginner's guide is designed especially for you. It's around about a one hour long online course that will give you all the tips and tricks that you need to build your very own productivity system so that you can start focusing in on the things that are important to you and start building a life that you can be very happy with. I just want to say thank you again so much for watching this video and I hope you join me in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. Details on how to enroll in that course are in the show notes below or you can click up there or on the, on the, the video link there. It'll give you all the details that you need to get yourself into this course. Thanks again.